Hey guys, welcome to my very first, first look for FS19. So today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new map on PC-SG and it is called Riverview and it is by Cavalier Roy. So loaded into the map, this is where you start off in. And this map, for those of you that don't know, come Monday I will be starting my Let's Play series on it. It's a good map. So take that for what you will. So you start off in here when you first load in. I have loaded in so you've got part of the yard built. There is a story behind it which I may or may not put in the description because it's fairly lengthy. Uh, but you start in with this building uh, which most of you will remember from FS13 store building. So I think this map's a convert. I've never heard of it before. I've never been on it before. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm disappointed to see still old assets being used like this that's an incredibly old building and even this over here again incredibly old but you start off in the store and we will just take a quick trip down to the yard so what do i think of it so far and we'll open up this so you guys can see the mini map very quickly so it seems to work as it should to begin with when you start on the easiest level you own this section of land over here and of course each area is purchasable and it seems like that is all rock solid and it seems to work pretty damn good and there's a lot of forest on this map too and of course river view because you've got the nice river going for it so we'll carry on walking through you got some hedges so if you want to scratch that itch of a english feeling map while it is obviously crazily fantasy then Here's your map, so there is collisions in that. Uh, from my experience, the hired workers, it seems to be a little funky at times. I'm not going to lie there. So again, we go across, or well, come up to an older asset. It doesn't look half bad, I will admit. But these are old, and you can see the resolution on the textures is just mm, poor to be the late sort of the least. Now the ground textures it seems like, as far as on most of the roads that I've seen, I don't think there's any proper laid roads in the game. And that does seem to be just uh, default stuff. Now I will straight up say, and I kind of feel guilty for this, but short of reinstalling my game, I've got no way to do this and give you a fair comparison. The textures that it is pulling for the crop, the grounds, and I'm not sure the grass, I think the grass is its own textures, are uh, default textures. That being said, I am using a texture packs, so it's pulling them. So your map will have default textures. Now, I think this says newbie farm. I'm not sure where this is from. I want it, it seems old, and you can see the stretch textures on it and everything there. Now a lot of the trees on here, the the way they're placed, they glitch through your cabs too. So here is your yard that you start off with. Yes, you heard correct. This is it. One building, uh, the Fiat, the Case, the Old Cedar, or a uh, small cultivator, and the New Holland. This is your machinery that you start off with on the very easy level. Now the story behind this map, as far as if you want to play with a storyline that goes behind it, it makes sense. And just to skim through it, basically, uh, you had, you're a young teen that had no interest in farming. At the age of 18, you moved to this, into the city. Several years passed since you last spoke to your dad. One night you received a phone call saying your dad uh, was on his deathbed. He's asking you out of respect basically wanted to take over the farm it's actually now just skimming for it right now as i've got to open on my second screen actually kind of a deep story so yeah i probably will put that in the description or a pinned comment one of the two uh here is your trailer that you start off with on the back of the small little pickup got a water tank obviously the silo here and a decorative piece right here and that can lead you down into this piece of land here this is what 
caught my eye right away when I personally started this, which you guys will see Monday. It screamed, I can do an episode of building my yard. So basically you can expand here. If you go up this path here, you've got the the house. So you do have a farmhouse. Once you spawn back in, you do spawn back up here, so it's not too, too bad. I didn't realize that until well, I loaded back in the map. Uh, there are contracts on the map, but it seems like they do not load in right away. You have to come out of the game and go back into it a few times before they'll start showing up. Here are some more flat land that you can put animal pastures in and stuff like that. The way they've flattened out some of this area... Now, you can tell by the mini-map. Obviously, this is a converted map, quite clearly, because some of the buildings that are shown on the mini-map aren't here. They've left it open, so you can really do your own thing and have your own animals and stuff like that around the yard. It's... It's a good map so far. Now, I haven't got any experience with tipping stuff or anything like that, so this isn't really a review. It is purely a first look over the map. So what we'll do now is we'll just take a quick run around. If you are wondering how I am able to run so quick, I have, I have cheat mode enabled, which Rainbow Dave Gaming has got a good video on how you enable that if you guys want to be able to run around like a headless chicken. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go this way actually, we've already been down here. We'll take a quick spin around and then I'll zoom out on the map so you guys can just take it in and see what you guys think. And as I was saying, I really don't think there's proper roads per se. And it, it has been well, you can see here. Just uh, painted in. It's almost, honestly, like they've used the text, uh, the painting tool from the 1.2 update to get a lot of this going and then finish it over in G. A lot of these buildings, it, it's hard to tell where this map's based. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, it looks black. No, nah, it's white. It's, again, probably using old assets. Maybe the lighting's doing that. I don't know. But the older stuff doesn't look half bad in the game, I'm going to be honest. But again, it's just a gravel road. No proper roads added into the to it. As far as I'm aware, there's no actual road packs out yet. You've got a bridge here going to the island, so bear in mind. Yeah, this, this bridge looks FS13, and look at the Z fighting going on here. It, it's old. It's incredibly old. Again, I'll take points off of it for that. Yeah. Stuff could have been done better for that. But you have a fuel station down here, which is taken out of the base. Actually, is it taken out of the base game? It may be, but the resolution. Nah, no, it can't be. That looks way too old. And a south point here on the island. But it's more like a little town area than anything. But again, no proper roads. Got a nice little river system going for it. Doesn't seem like there's any boat traffic on the river. Now we'll go across the bridge again. And we'll head on around the town. And get spat out over here. So field sizes. Some of them are pretty damn big. As you can see here. Why is it always the big fields out of potatoes? And that definitely looks... Huge drop off. It also looks like a lot of the trees are placed by splines from probably the last game. I know that was out, and it's probably you can do that in GE again. And they're just, they're all very much, you look at all of these angles, they're identical. He, the Cavalier Roy, could have done a bit better by possibly turning each tree around, lay them down with the splines, but then go back through and Mix match them up, not so they're exactly the same all the way along. It just gives not a great look. But again, right now, unfortunately, beggars cannot be choosers. There's another field. So there is a whole mixture of fields for people on here. And it's not a polished map by any shape or form. You can tell rough edges and, again, the tree line placement if you're OCD about that type of thing then you're probably going to have a hard time coming in here 
uh, forest area. Completely under shadow, which is kind of interesting to see how the how it works. But in here, I presume these were supposed to be not pine trees, but but yeah, pine trees, fir trees. They're not. So kind of what willow trees? I don't know. It'd be difficult to harvest. Looks like there is a train track. I don't know if there's a train that runs on it or anything like that. But I can answer that one very quickly. No, there's not. This actually looks like it's... Oh, no, it's just a modelled th model train. So that is not a work. So we continue around here. So I have, myself, I've got a few hours on the map. And I like it. So here's more forestry aspects up here. So at least we've got some sort of fir trees to harvest. We'll run around to another cell point, which is the spinnery. So if you were going to be doing uh, cotton and selling your wool from your sheep and all of that, you'd need to be coming down at the bottom right-hand corner of the map, by the looks of it. We've got a brewery on the map as well. So with these hedges, you really can't see a whole lot while running around. Huge grass field here. Now, should have mentioned it, but Field 9 and Field 10, when I started the game, they started up as grass fields as well, for me. Another forestry area by the looks of things. Now, this is the first time I have gone around this side of the map, so it is a genuine first look for me as well. Uh, yeah, we'll just go around the outskirts of the map. And the bay, you've got boat over there. Oh, apparently these don't have collisions. So, or maybe I could just walk out straight over it. Yeah, I don't think the boat's moving. Looks like there's a dockyard or something down there. As so we had a bit of game stutter there, as it's probably loading in new shaders. So here is the brewery, aka the pub. The Lost Horseshoe Inn. Nice. The Odin doesn't look actually half bad. Are these giants buildings or stuff that he's got in game? Although the sign does kind of glow the shadow work on it. Yeah. Shaders are maybe a little bit funky on it. I don't know. I have loaded this map up with next to no mods. The only mods I've got in are uh, the no collision camera, I actually think. And that's it. So where are we on the map? Down here. So we've got a nice little bridge. Going down this way. So I think this bridge right here would have been more suitable, to be quite honest. Run the whole way down. All the, all the water crossings have this sort of bridge because it just looks better. Doesn't look as tacky in here, you can see. A bit of more of the blending. So you're going up into more of a forestry area down here. We'll take a quick look, see what's going on down here. Uh, what's this? Oh, the port. Whoa. Yeah, this is kind of out of nowhere. All of a sudden coming into this huge port area. Oh, it looks, it looks like we do have some trucks on the ground. On the ground. On the map. Scania. Another Scania. TNT. Bit of Z fighting going on there. Now, it's interesting to see what these models look like in the game. And just look at the ground texture, actually. I just noticed that. Not unless I'm not supposed to be in this area, but that is horrid. That is very bad, actually. Probably... These are probably old set pieces from older versions of the game, to be quite honest with you. Oh, 100%, look at that. A 100%. This barn's been kicking around for a fair few years as well. That's FS13. Is this map from FS13? Like, in some areas it, it's great, but then you go to others and it just looks an absolute dog's dinner. As in there, unfortunately. 
All right, so we'll take a spin up to the forestry, what I would consider probably the major forestry area. Again, a lot of trees down here. A lot of trees up there. I'm not sure how we get through up there, so we'll just climb up the mountain. And there you go. So quite a lot of forestry up here, if you can get up to here normally. Now I've got the LOD set kind of low, but yeah, you can see the landscape there to a point. What I'll do now is I'll open up the log. So you can see the log is clean. And I will put no fly on. Well, fly on. So we can check out the landscape a little bit better. See if it's going to be a map that takes your guys fancy. I think there's probably going to be quite a few content creators that jump on this. It's something different. Kind of got a UK-ish feel with the hedges and all of that type of stuff. A lot of trees. The FPS-wise I'm getting pretty much the same as a standard Giants map to be quite honest. I was impressed. I really was. So what I'll do is I'll kind of make my way slowly. This is the forestry cell point. Slowly over to the main yard again. So you guys can check that out. I'm not too sure how long this video has been so far. Oh, not sure why I'm getting all that water noise when I'm nowhere near any water. So this is actually the first map that I've been on for FS19 other than Stock Giants one. As well. So just from above, you can see what you can kind of do up here. you got so much room for building a yard or doing something it's pretty crazy it's a nice little map yeah, it's not the best by any means I'd be what a cluster I'd be lying to say if it was great but it's not bad and if it scratches the itch and gets you off of a giant's map I think it's worth a play uh, as I said I haven't experienced any issues myself yet uh, but if there is you guys will know if you stay tuned to the channel. And like I said, I'm planning on doing a let's play on this relatively soon, starting Monday, where we build a yard. Uh, we don't do too much farming. We literally just build a yard, which is kind of cool. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think of that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first look. And link will be in the description as always. And I may or may not put the mod description in. On PC SG, you do need to make an account to download it, though. Uh, so that you have to make an account. Unfortunately, you can sign in with Facebook and Google and stuff like that, but on the website, it seems like it isn't working right now. So, make an account. It's a website that doesn't get a whole lot of traffic as far as mods on there, but sometimes there are a few gems that are fantastic. So, until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Links in the description as always. Catch you guys later. See ya.